Hi guys, I'm back again today with another vlog video and this is we sailed around Komodo Island dreams become reality so um, I'm really intrigued to see this and which part of Indonesia this is um, so yeah before we do start don't forget to subscribe click the bell button and let's find out Komodo National Park is selected among the world's top 10 destinations by National Geographic. It is home to the largest, unique and rare lizard species on the planet I called the Komodo know Dragon. Ever since I was a little child, I dreamed of visiting this faraway island located in the park. middle of the ocean where man-eating lizards live. This dream came true and together with nine best friends, we experienced what we all call the best time of our lives. Okay, if you don't hear a sound, it's probably copyrighted because this uh, background songs now they get copyright. So if ever you don't hear it, I'm sorry. Just arrived at our hostel for the night, which is called Labuhim Baju. We're gonna spend here one night and then tomorrow we're gonna embark on our real journey. before we go on the boat and that is to get some bintang rattlers. I suggest we pick some stuff up now before we get on the boat. How much is that? We found the biggest treasure. Whole love one by Jew. Look at this. How much are we gonna buy? Wait, we're not bringing the fridge with us? <laughs> that's gonna be our boat. Wow, that's amazing. It's time to finally start this epic adventure. <laughs> comfortable in our home for the next four days and three nights this boat is absolutely stunning it's called Zara and it has four cabins three cabins are for two people and one wait they're gonna stay in the boat I thought they were just gonna go to this island and it's like a couple of minutes away but no what three days okay one cabin is for four people, so it can house up until 10 people. This trip is all inclusive and it cost us 4 million Indonesian rupiah, which is around 240 euros. And it's for four days and three nights. It's time to pack our bags and visit Pulau Kilor. all gathering at the roof because apparently thousands of bats are gonna fly from one island to another. This is the best 3 a.m. sandwich I ever had. Oh, it's the best sandwich I ever had. Period. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Is that like Nutella or like chocolate spread and the bread? Oh, why?
It is currently 6 a.m. We had our nighttime shooting here and as you see the sun is slowly coming up. It's so stunning this view and as you can see there are already a lot of people but behind me there is still no one so we are gonna make some amazing shots. Was and that the here. stars last night? The same? So hiking up to this viewpoint is around 20-25 minutes, it's quite a steep hike. We all paid 300k per person to come up here, plus you also have to pay 1 million to fly your drone. 1 million is about 60 euros and you can divide it by how many people are flying drones. And they just told me that apparently there are lots of snakes here, so if you come to Padar Island make sure to be very very careful. Oh, this just decreased my interest so much by probably like 99 percent i'm so sorry i have a phobia i cannot look at a picture or even like a skin of snake i will cry and hyperventilate and pass out so it's not for me i'm so sorry i love indonesia but it's not it's not for me if i hear the word snake it's immediately not for me that's why I don't like Australia. I love Australia. I want to go there, but just the chance that you will see a snake. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm really, really good. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Um, yep. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Komodo Island. Nope. Because we are all very hesitant that we might step into a snake. We are now hiking down and as you can see, we come from really, really far and it's so hot. It's only 8 a.m. in the morning and you have no idea how hot it is. So we all are in desperate need of some cooling down. Look at the color of the water, guys. Wow. This pink beach is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen, no doubt about it. The beach, as its name, is entirely pink. The water is so blue and the mountains and the view, it's insane. It's so stunning. So this beach has its pink color because of the red coral. As you can see, we just picked it up. And that explains why this beach is pink. Have a look at how pink this is. It's gorgeous. It's literally one of a kind. Komodo Island and I couldn't be more excited because ever since I was a little girl I dreamed about coming to this island that's in Indonesia where wild Komodo dragons live and they are the biggest living lizards on the entire earth. Feels like we are in Jurassic Park. What was your name again? Uh, Anjas. Anjas. Anjas yeah. is gonna protect us today, right? Yeah, exactly. From all the feisty Komodo dragons. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna see? Hopefully, but I'm not 100% like guarantee okay. because like we are in my life. We don't find it mean uh, we are not lucky yet. Yeah. Let's hope Sorry. we are we lucky. This is insane. Oh my god, oh my god, I never seen any lizard animal this big. Holy shit. This is huge. These animals are no joke. Oh my god. We're literally walking. I just got five minutes. I already seen our first one. I cannot believe how big these animals are. 
This one's even bigger. We just saw a female. You can see it because she has the spikes on her back. This one is a male, and it's. I'm huge. not like how do uh, interested, the but if they just look like lazy. I get to so see when one. When the deer, pig, or sure. even buffalo come here for the water, they just like suddenly bite. They uh, eat piece by piece. So after they bite, the animal still have a chance for run away. Oh. And after so two or three days, the bacteria in their saliva is working by blood of the animal, and the animal will die. And well, when they die, so uh, they will smell from five to ten kilometer away. Wow. Oh wow. And they do yeah. the same with humans? What? They would do the same with humans? <laughs> they do sometimes, mostly the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, have a good day. Thank you guys for saving our lives. <laughs> past few days on the boat have been so incredible. I cannot recommend more doing a sailing trip around the Komodo Islands because it's just the ultimate freedom. Living on a boat with friends, it's so amazing. been in a lot of beautiful places in my life but Indonesia keeps surprising me this is so stunning color of the ocean the mountains the people the food everything is so beautiful look at the color here right behind me I cannot believe how blue this water is just yelled at us and there are manta rays in the water right now so we are gonna dive in I love that the like the captain and the, the you know the people in the boat with them they're like really how do you, like they're really happy when they're happy like they're happy doing their job they're happy showing tourists around and telling them oh this is gonna happen this is what to do because some people like when you go to other places some people don't feel happy to doing what they're doing like they feel actually annoyed at the people who actually paid to have a tour but in this circumstance you can see they're all like really really happy and excited and they want to like show them everything uh, and they're proud of their country and I love that this is the most beautiful water I've ever seen the corals are amazing there are so many fishes and we even saw a manta ray it was the biggest manta rays I've ever seen I only did one time before manta ray diving and this was so amazing these manta rays are such precious animals and it's so cool to see them and right now it's time for lunch they're calling me down so i'm gonna eat a bit oh it's time for food again It is currently 5 p.m. and that only means one thing. It is sunset time. And we are headed to this tiny little beach where you can see right behind me, it's over there. Our guides are bringing our bean bags towards there and we're gonna have a good sunset and some beers over there. The last two beers of the trip and then we are headed towards the beach because we cannot forget this. 
we made it to this little beach and the sun is setting. It is absolutely stunning. Let me show you. having a campfire on the beach and everyone thought it would be a good idea to bring two giant logs <laughs> and the fire is so huge right now and Salamat Taki. We had the most amazing morning. We listened to music and we watched the sunrise and now we are at our first stop which is right behind me. It's a cave filled with seawater and we all have no idea how the seawater went up there. We have a little theory and that's that the local people filled their buckets, carried them up there and filled the cave with seawater. Obviously that's not true but we're gonna figure it out along the way. thing about this cave is that it's salt water and no one knows how this salt water gets in here. We asked the locals and no one has any clue. It probably seeps in from somewhere. You just don't know. Maybe like underneath there is a small hole or small holes or cracks between the rocks that you know it just seeps in when the tide is like super strong. It just forces it in itself into the rock and that's how you i guess i don't know this might just my guess but if you know let me know Finally some fresh air because that cave was so humid but it was amazing to swim in and it's so interesting because no one knows how the seawater got there and it apparently refreshes itself because it's so humid the water goes up and it goes down again so this water has been here for such a long time. It's the last day on the boat and the sad news is our engine broke down, it suddenly broke and now they are trying to fix it here but we have been standing still I think for half an hour now so we're praying that we can fix it because we are in the open ocean. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Captain good. Captain good. Engine not good. Engine not good. <laughs> oh, this right. is our last meal, guys. Yes. I don't want to go home. We're going to miss everybody. So sad. Also, Jar, what happened with your camera? Guys. I went underwater to take a video of Gypsy and Sneakers and I'm not gonna blame this on her but <laughs> salt water got into my plastic housing case for my camera and now it's in a massive bag of rice. Uh oh, let's all hope that it's gonna work out. So as this trip is coming unexpectedly to an end because we are stuck at the ocean, the engine is not working and also Jaro's camera fell into the water so it's time for us to head back to Labuan Baju once the engine starts working and this trip has been absolutely amazing it was such a dream living on a boat with 10 friends being back to nature we had no reception during this trip and it was so good we enjoyed swimming snorkeling we hiked a lot we did so many cool things and it was one of the best trip of our lives unfortunately the engine didn't start working after four hours of waiting we decided to go with the rescue boat to that little town there and then we are going with a car back to La Buan Baju and now you see this is such an epic ending to such an epic trip are we ready to leave this boat no. I'm actually not. sad. I'm very sad. I'm pretty bummed I had a out. Bad this trip has been so sick. It was such a good trip. Thank you so much Thank for being with us, Captain. We cried too. We're so sad. But thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. 
Alright, Captain. Bye, Shaka. Bye, guys. Bali. See you. Good day. See you in Bali. Bye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Maldives next. This is the perfect ending to this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Oh, I want to watch the what happened after. Like, I'm invested now. I want like 20 episodes to this uh, series. <laughs> that was so much fun. Like, I think, right, in my head, I feel like I'm adventurous. I like adventurous things, but I like comfort at the end of the day. Like, I'm a very, like, oh my gosh, right? So, I love to go on adventure, but I want to know that at the end of the day, I can go lie down in a bed, right? And then have, like, get a hot shower and then go to bed. And then wake up tomorrow and then go, like, hiking or whatever other things. I like that. But... If you're gonna tell me that I wouldn't have phone reception for four days and I'll be in this boat ro roaming around and there might be snakes and then uh, we're in the middle of the ocean yeah that mm, I cannot okay because my brain likes to think I'm adventurous but also at the same time it tells me that anything is dangerous Right, I like adventure, my brain says, but at the same time, it tells me that danger. So, what am I supposed to do, right? That is why I love the fact that I can go do things at the same time, I can go back to like safety. <laughs> but, anyways, that was really, really fun. I wish I had the balls to do that, but I don't think it's in me. But you know, you never know. But I really, really want to watch more of these. And if you have any requests and recommendations, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.